India found an active UFO base in the Himalayas and received a message from the inhabitants of uh, the UFOs. We don't often come across such information that is accompanied by good visual material. Such news does not reach the media, so they acquire a special value. Let's see the fantastic story that circulates. Reports of intense hostilities between extraterrestrials and China-India ground forces since 1998 have been investigated by researchers in the area. Many people in the rural areas are afraid of the strange craft that travel in the sky day and night. Chinese military forces have been deployed to confirm evidence that strange creatures from another world are operating a mysterious base near a place inhabited by alien creatures in the mountainous landscape near the Indian border. The armed forces of the People's Liberation Army were obstructed due to the topographical, the topography, the mountains, of course, and the changing land that hinders their progress towards the supposed base. However, new reports have surfaced that China's Navy has begun an informal alliance with the Russian Federation and the United States to defend a battle that threatens nations with such programs on Earth, at sea, and near Earth's orbit. Usually, skeptics view all of this as fantasy and prank that moves solely in the realm of science fiction or into the appetite of malicious people who have fun behind the backs of those who believe such stories. So since there are no official reports, let us keep a reservation about all this. However, he was quoted as saying by Venkata Gazdar, India's Minister of Defense. This is, this is what he said. We are working with China and the UN to discuss how to handle this invasion. Okay, this is uh, Venkata Gazdar, India Minister of Defense. So this, this is uh, very, very serious. We're working with China and the UN to discuss how to handle this invasion. He calls it an invasion. We do not want our people to worry. We are confident that we can counter this threat from an alien culture, but there is something worth mentioning as it makes a difference. In our minds, we received a telepathic message from the residents of the base, which we handed over to the UN, UN officials to convey it to the entire population of Earth. And this is the following. It is very important that each recipient understands our message individually and all together. Even if, even if this does not happen immediately, there will already be a crack in the perception of uh, the perception we have of life and reality. Too much att attachment to what one perceives one's basic senses is a serious cause for delusion. Today, many people are constantly trying to fill knowledge, comprehend and classify confusing information from the past, constantly looking for arguments but interpreting them with the permissible limit of science and logic, which by their nature have a limited to zero degree of freedom. However, the awakening of all the senses of those inherent in the original ancestors many thousands of years ago can lead each person and altogether to a better and clearer perception of the self, capital S, the world, capital W, and reality, capital R. Now, what do they mean by uh, awakening all the senses of the original ancestors? Who were the original ancestors? Anyway, so can all this be true or not? Why did the UN never convey this message? Opinions differ as to whether it is true or whether it was fabricated by the Indian Minister of Defense. If the message is true, then it means that the beings of the base have no hostile dispositions and their purpose is to encourage the entire population of the Earth to develop dormant senses, such as telepathy, spiritual powers, etc. As for the extraterrestrial base, everything was in a video that no longer exists, but showed particular interest as the footage included in it was considered by many to be authentic. Let everyone draw their own conclusions. Now, it says here, history is a product of fiction and has nothing to do with reality. It's based on text from the Weekly World News which is a satirical website, as well as the following video. As for the message communicated by the aliens, it contains briefly through some texts and teachings from Eastern philosophy, Tao and Zen, from the book The Buffalo Road by Archetype. 
So please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.